Bacteria that cannot be stopped by antibiotics are called superbugs, and every year they claim thousands of lives. Well, tonight, Dr. John LaPook reports on a powerful new antibiotic that could be a game changer. Believe it or not, it's grown in dirt. This is going to be a good one. Today's research offers a one-two punch in the search for new antibiotics, a different way of finding them, and the discovery of one, texobactin, that makes antibiotic resistance unlikely. Kim Lewis led a team of scientists at Northeastern University. My guess is that if resistance is going to develop against texobactin, it will take more than 30 years for that to occur. Overuse of antibiotics has led to infection with drug-resistant bacteria in at least 2 million Americans a year, killing at least 23,000. Most antibiotics are produced by bacteria found in the soil, but only about 1% of these organisms can be grown in the laboratory. We did something very different. Uh, instead of trying to figure out what to put in a petri dish, uh, we simply uh, grow them in their natural environment. So they placed the bacteria directly in the soil, isolating 50,000 different specimens, which made 25 new antibiotics. One, texobactin, effectively killed certain drug-resistant bacteria, including MRSA, C. difficile, and tuberculosis. So far, the research is only in mice. The kinds of mutations that usually cause bacteria to become antibiotic resistant don't seem to affect how texobactin works. Lewis says this may lead to a whole new approach. The standard dogma under which we were operating that bacteria will always and, and uh, rapidly develop resistance, that, that, that dogma may be incorrect. Professor Lewis says human trials could begin in two to three years. If all goes well, Scott, it would still be five to six years before a new antibiotic drug could become commercially available. Good news. John, thanks very much.